So. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Portrait of George Washington. I honestly shouldn't, um, uh, shouldn't uh, use that on. Um, I have. Mm. No, 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 no. No, I shouldn't use that here. I had more, but. I use it like a pool. Oh, okay. Papers. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United States and England. If such an arrangement came into being, France would suffer dearly. Hmm. Interesting. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. Hmm. Interesting. Greetings, Lee. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Tell me, Mr. President, had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You, well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Are you all right, Mr. President? Mm. Are you feeling all right? Oh, don't worry. It's this rotten toothache. What do you expect? I'm no spring chicken now. Oh, okay. Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry. But that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened. And I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countryman or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Indeed. Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. Yes, Lord Mortimer has a talent for healing, apparently. I'm not surprised Sir Gregory advised her to come. Agreed. I don't have... I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. Feel free, Louis. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Thank you, Mr. President. This is actually stupid. I don't have anything right now. Okay. So... Who is this? Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Oh yeah, Piaggi is downstairs. Um. Also, let's try. This is my room. 
Maybe I got something in there. I cannot enter. Hmm. Who is this? Duke Manuel Godoy. I think she isn't here. Emily. Emily is here? Yep. King George the Third in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Hmm. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. T.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Well... Grammar of Port-Réal. Ah, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least, une partie of it. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, more things to find. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision-taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Okay. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. What? Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. Wait, 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 wait. From want? Doesn't want mean wanted? Like in simple terms? King Charles of the Holy Father's backing. We shall assist you with finance recruitment for regiments of emigrant royalists fight against France. Your friend, His Eminence Piaki. Two coils circle the lock. I have the key, I cannot unlock it. Move on. Find something. A Chinese coin. Recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, hey, I'll something. Pull the cash. I have a lot of golden eggs, though. So, wait. I want to see. Yeah. I need honey. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. 
I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. <laughs> Should I do it? Um... Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. No doubt she suffered greatly. Nine times? What monster is capable of such a horrible thing? Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Hmm. Tell me, Emily, what's the nature of your relationship with Washington? Oh, come off it, Louie. You're not going to go into a jealous rage, are you? Nope. No, I can assure you of that. That has nothing to do with it. You're preparing a treaty to break the ties between the United States and France. Whatever are you talking about, Louis? I read your correspondences, Emily. It's not what you think. So don't go thinking there's anything personal in it. Are you trying to break Franco-American agreements, Emily? That's the job, Louis. We're all doing everything we can to serve the best interests of our nation. It's got nothing to do with you or us. But why didn't you tell me about it before? Would you have told me? That's true. That's true. I mean, she spoke the truth. I hear you were in discussions with the Holy See. Oh, either His Eminence can't keep his tongue from wagging, or you've been poking your nose where you shouldn't, sir. Even so, Emily, you're raising a royalist army. That's no small matter. And you are straying from the subject. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Mm. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? <sighs> I must admit, Louis, I... I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Mm -mm. Well, I can... I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. Oh, can I go to Lord Modemore's lackeys and take uh what's called I can go here How can I go up? No Oh yeah, up here. Can I tell Tehnim to go to the room? What a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's probably nothing. But if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Peru. You remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. Yeah, I want to go to one of the one of the most of the lackeys and take some honey. Can I take some honey. What is this? Caramel water. That's good.
I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis. Hmm. I'll be in touch as soon as I have any more information. Should I try this? Hmm. Which four letter word could open this chest? Okay, I will try the all of the words. First of all, it is A. A. R. S. R. S. Please be this. No. Hmm. Which four letter word could open this chest? So, R. R. S. N. R A E L S Now Oh no 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 let's try like this N A C E Z Okay, let's go to A next R No, I want this A B S No This would be B And I This will be I think S E L S No Return it to N Go to C this will take a long time. <sighs> oh, hello. Dante's Purgatory. What is your mind presumed to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub? The worm before it's attained its final form. Charming. No. 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 Nightmare painted by Fusilli in 1781. Okay. Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? The occult water symbol. Dante's Purgatory. What is your mind presumed to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. I don't know. I 
don't I can't believe I use all of my things. I have some more questions about Um, hello? Oh, that's Emily Wine, wine She was with someone Well, she was with someone. Knocked over a bottle of wine. What kind of plunk is that? Hey, it's a Bordeaux. That's a Chateau de Brion. It's a great wine. I don't know what's happened to this wine, but it's undrinkable. I take poison. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. The handprint on the handle is really small. I can't imagine a man with a hand that size. It must be from a woman's hand. Wait a second. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates a small and slender hand. Hmm. Can I guess like this is a suicide? vials of laudanum the label shows that this laudanum comes straight from america i wonder if washington's involved huh. okay let's see The clock stopped at 3.54. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. Hmm. That would clear Emily de facto because she was still with me at the time. Yeah. I can agree. A pentagram. What the hell's been going on here? Contrary to what most people believe, a pentagram's not there to conjure up, I don't know, what evil or demonic creature. With the point toward the top, the pentagram is an ancient symbol of protection against evil. Many esoteric rituals are based on this shape. Could Elizabeth have been sacrificed during an occult ritual? Wait, what? Politics and conviction. No, 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 sorry. What could this and psychology? Yeah, I know. Thank you. 